Welcome to Full Focus World. The Vatican's secret archives are home to some of the most mysterious and controversial documents in the world. For centuries, these files have been kept under lock and key, and their contents have been the subject of much speculation. In this video, we'll take a look at 10 of the most banned files in the Vatican. We'll explore the rumors and theories surrounding these files, and we'll try to uncover the truth about what they contain. Here are 10 banned files of the Vatican. Number 10. The File on the Vatican's Secret Societies The Vatican is one of the most secretive and powerful institutions in the world. It has a vast archive of documents that span centuries of history, religion, and politics. Among these documents, there are some that are so sensitive and controversial that they are kept under lock and key, away from the public eye. These are the files on the Vatican's secret societies. The files on the Vatican's secret societies reveal the complex and often hostile relations between the Catholic Church and various groups that have challenged its authority, doctrines, and interests. Some of these groups are well-known, such as the Freemasons and the Illuminati, while others are more obscure, such as the Rosicrucians and the Knights Templar. The files contain information on the origins, beliefs, rituals, members, and activities of these secret societies, as well as the Vatican's attempts to infiltrate, expose, or suppress them. The files on the Vatican's secret societies are a source of fascination and speculation for many researchers, historians, and conspiracy theorists. They offer a glimpse into the hidden side of history, where secret alliances, plots, and conflicts have shaped the course of events. They also raise questions about the role and influence of the Vatican in world affairs, and its stance on issues such as democracy, human rights, and religious freedom. The files on the Vatican's secret societies are a treasure trove of secrets that may never be fully revealed. Number 9. The File on the Vatican's UFO Files the Vatican is one of the most secretive and powerful institutions in the world, and it has a long history of involvement in global affairs. But what does it know about the UFO phenomenon, and why has it kept its files hidden from the public eye? This is the question that many researchers and enthusiasts have been asking for decades, hoping to find some clues or evidence of extraterrestrial contact. The file on the Vatican's UFO files is a collection of documents, reports, testimonies, and correspondence that allegedly reveal the Vatican's interest and knowledge of UFOs and their possible occupants. The file is said to contain information from various sources, such as Vatican officials, clergy, astronomers, diplomats, military personnel, and even popes. Some of the topics covered in the file are the origin and nature of UFOs, their relation to religion and spirituality, their impact on human history and culture, and their implications for the future of humanity. The file on the Vatican's UFO files is not accessible to the public, and its existence has been denied by the Vatican authorities. However, some researchers claim to have seen or obtained parts of the file, either through leaks, whistleblowers, or insiders. They have published books, articles, documentaries, and interviews that reveal some of the contents of the file, or at least their interpretation of them. These sources have sparked controversy and debate among UFO enthusiasts, skeptics, and believers alike, as they offer different perspectives and opinions on the Vatican's role and stance on the UFO mystery. Number 8. The File on the Vatican's Role in World War II the Vatican's role in World War II has been a controversial and contentious topic for decades. Many historians and critics have accused the Vatican of collaborating with the Nazis, turning a blind eye to their atrocities, and even helping some of them escape justice after the war. The Vatican has always denied these allegations, claiming that it acted as a neutral and humanitarian force, trying to save lives and promote peace. However, the Vatican has never opened its archives to the public, keeping its file on World War II secret and inaccessible. This file is said to contain documents, correspondence, and records that could shed light on the Vatican's activities and policies during that period. Some of these documents may reveal the extent of the Vatican's involvement with the Nazi regime, its knowledge of the Holocaust, and its role in facilitating the escape of war criminals. The file on the Vatican's role in World War II is one of the most banned and sought-after files in history. It has been the subject of numerous requests, petitions, and lawsuits from researchers, journalists, survivors, and governments. The Vatican has always resisted opening its archives, citing various reasons such as privacy, security, and diplomacy. However, many people suspect that the Vatican is hiding something that could damage its reputation and credibility. 
The file on the Vatican's role in World War II remains a mystery and a challenge for those who seek the truth. Number 7. The File on the Vatican Bank The Vatican Bank, officially known as the Institute for the Works of Religion, is a financial institution that operates within the Vatican City and serves the Catholic Church. The bank has been involved in several scandals and controversies over the years, and its file is believed to contain secrets and evidence of its illicit activities. One of the most notorious cases involving the Vatican Bank was the collapse of Banco Ambrosiano, an Italian bank that had close ties with the Vatican. The bank was accused of laundering money for the mafia, right-wing paramilitary groups, and political parties. The Vatican Bank was also implicated in the murder of Roberto Calvi, the chairman of Banco Ambrosiano, who was found hanging from a bridge in London in 1982. Another scandal that rocked the Vatican Bank was the Vatileaks affair, which exposed corruption and mismanagement within the Holy See. The leak of confidential documents revealed that the bank was under investigation by Italian authorities for money laundering and tax evasion. The bank's president, Ettore Gatti Tedeschi, was ousted by its board of directors for incompetence and negligence. The bank's file was also among the documents stolen by Paolo Gabriel, the former butler of Pope Benedict XVI, who was convicted of aggravated theft. Number 6. The File on the Borgias The File on the Borgias is one of the most controversial and mysterious documents in the history of the Vatican. The Borgias were a powerful Italian family who rose to prominence in the late 15th and early 16th centuries and who were accused of corruption, nepotism, murder, incest, and other crimes. Their file is said to contain information about their misdeeds, their enemies, and their secrets. The file was allegedly compiled by Pope Alexander VI, who was himself a member of the Borgia family and one of the most notorious popes in history. He is said to have entrusted the file to his son Cesare Borgia, who was a cardinal, a military leader, and a ruthless politician. Cesare Borgia was also the inspiration for Machiavelli's The Prince, a treatise on how to acquire and maintain power by any means necessary. The file disappeared after the death of Cesare Borgia in 1507, and its whereabouts are unknown. Some speculate that it was destroyed by his enemies, or hidden by his allies, or taken by his descendants. Others believe that it is still in the possession of the Vatican and that it contains secrets that could shake the foundations of the Catholic Church. The file on the Borgias remains one of the most intriguing and elusive banned files of the Vatican. Number 5. The File on the Knights Templar The Vatican has a secret archive that holds millions of documents dating back to the 8th century. Among them, there is a file that has been banned from public access for centuries, the File on the Knights Templar. This file is rumored to reveal the truth about the mysterious order that once dominated Europe with its wealth, power, and military prowess. The Knights Templar were founded in 1119, during the Crusades, to protect pilgrims traveling to the Holy Land. They soon became a formidable force, with castles, lands, and banks across Europe and the Middle East. They also developed a reputation for being secretive, devout, and loyal to each other. Some believe they possessed hidden knowledge and relics, such as the Holy Grail and the Ark of the Covenant. However, their success and influence aroused the envy and suspicion of many, especially King Philip IV of France, who owed them a large debt. In 1307, he ordered a mass arrest of all Templars in France, accusing them of heresy, blasphemy, and sodomy. Many were tortured and burned at the stake. The Pope, under pressure from the King, dissolved the order in 1312 and confiscated their assets. The surviving Templars either went into hiding or joined other orders. But what happened to their secrets? Did they escape with some of their treasures? Did they leave behind clues or codes? And what does the Vatican file say about them? Number 4. The File on the Shroud of Turin the Shroud of Turin is a linen cloth that is said to bear the image of Jesus Christ, and its file is said to contain information about its history and authenticity. The file, also known as the Dossier, was compiled by a team of experts who examined the Shroud in 1978, and it consists of thousands of pages of scientific reports, photographs, and documents. The file has been kept secret by the Vatican for decades, and only a few people have had access to it. The file is considered to be the most comprehensive and authoritative source of information on the Shroud, and it could shed light on some of the mysteries and controversies surrounding it. For example, the file could reveal whether the Shroud is a medieval forgery or a genuine relic of the crucifixion. 
The file has also been the subject of speculation and intrigue, as some people believe that it contains secrets that could challenge or confirm the faith of millions of Christians. Some people have claimed that the file contains evidence of miracles, supernatural phenomena, or hidden messages encoded in the shroud. Others have suggested that the file has been tampered with or manipulated by the Vatican to conceal or distort the truth about the shroud. Number 3. The File on Galileo The File on Galileo is a fascinating document that reveals the history of one of the most influential scientists of all time. Galileo Galilei was a pioneer of astronomy, physics, and mathematics who challenged the prevailing views of his time and supported the Copernican theory that the Earth and other planets revolve around the Sun. This brought him into conflict with the Catholic Church, which condemned heliocentrism as heretical and contrary to the scriptures. The file on Galileo contains the transcripts of Galileo's interrogation and trial by the Inquisition in 1633, as well as other documents related to his case. The file shows how Galileo tried to defend his views and reconcile them with his faith, but also how he was pressured and threatened by the inquisitors who demanded that he renounce his opinions and accept the church's doctrine. The file also reveals the political and personal motives behind the prosecution of Galileo, as well as the reactions of his friends, enemies, and contemporaries. The file on Galileo is a valuable source of information for anyone interested in the history of science, religion, and culture. It illustrates the clash between scientific inquiry and religious authority, and the consequences of challenging established beliefs. It also demonstrates the courage and genius of Galileo, who despite being silenced and condemned by the church, continued to pursue his discoveries and left a lasting legacy for future generations. Number 2. The Archives of the Inquisition the Inquisition was a system of tribunals established by the Catholic Church to combat heresy and other crimes against the faith. It operated in various forms and regions from the 12th to the 19th century and was often involved in political and social conflicts. The Inquisition used various methods to interrogate, torture, and punish those who were accused of deviating from the orthodox doctrine or practice of the Church. The archives of the Inquisition are a collection of documents that record the proceedings, verdicts, and sentences of the Inquisition courts, as well as correspondence, reports, manuals, and other materials related to its administration and operation. The archives are kept in the Vatican's secret archives, a section of the Vatican Library that is not open to the public. The archives are estimated to contain over 4,500 volumes and 150,000 individual documents, dating from the 13th to the 18th century. The archives of the Inquisition are a valuable source of historical information, as they provide insight into the religious, cultural, and social aspects of the periods and regions where the Inquisition was active. They also reveal the personal stories and experiences of those who were affected by the Inquisition, either as victims, witnesses, or perpetrators. The archives have been partially open to scholars since 1998, but many documents remain inaccessible or unexplored. Number 1. The Shinan Parchment The Shinan Parchment is a historical document that was discovered in the Vatican's secret archives in 2001. It is a record of the interrogation of the leaders of the Knights Templar, a medieval military order that was accused of heresy and disbanded by Pope Clement V in 1312. The parchment reveals that the Pope absolved the Templars of all charges and granted them his protection, contrary to the popular belief that he condemned them to death. One of the most controversial aspects of the Shinan parchment is that it contains a list of popes who were elected illegitimately, according to the Templars. These popes were allegedly elected while they were already in holy orders, which was forbidden by canon law. Some of these popes are well-known figures in history, such as Innocent III, Gregory IX, and Boniface VIII. The Templars claim that these popes were corrupt and persecuted them unjustly. The authenticity and significance of the Shinan parchment have been debated by historians and scholars ever since its discovery. Some argue that it is a genuine document that sheds new light on the fate of the Templars and the history of the papacy. Others contend that it is a forgery or a fabrication that was meant to discredit the Church or to justify the Templars' rebellion. The Shinan parchment remains a fascinating and mysterious source of information about one of the most intriguing episodes of the Middle Ages. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. Follow us for more videos.